Hey there, I'm Tyler and welcome back to the channel. This shop, as many of you guys have known it, has remained relatively unchanged for the last two years or so now. Over that time, there's been some things that I would like to change and we're gonna start some of that today. These shop project videos probably won't end up on YouTube in consecutive order, but we're gonna start the first one today and we are going to rebuild this screw organizer shelf to incorporate some of these organizational bins. everything apart now. Did I mention that I have plans for this screw rack box thingy 2.0? There might be a link down there. Um, but I got everything apart now and the plans will be for building a new screw rack, but I'm actually gonna be reusing some of the parts in an effort not to waste everything. So I'm gonna pull the nails out of what I am gonna use. Like this is one of those parts right here. I can cut it right here and use this top part for the new screw rack and build the bottom brand new. We can also reuse some of the smaller quarter inch dividers. I'll have to cut them a little bit shorter, I think. And that might actually be all besides a piece of the back. We can reuse that. It's a good stage in life where they don't make a huge mess, but I don't have to paint, so it's a win-win.
I just slapped some paint on the hardy board that's going to be on the back. The back is going to go from here down to here because I think that'll add enough rigidity and that cuts down on the wood that is needed. Now I am going to put the drawers in and these probably don't need to be on drawers because you can just slide the box out and set it down wherever you want to. But I happen to have a bunch of 16 inch full extension drawer sides that I got for dollars a piece. This was $3 for the 16 inch pair and I have a whole bunch of them which is why I kind of designed this thing around using those drawer slides. So we're going to set those in while that back is drying and then we can keep on moving. I meant to cut an angle on here before for a little bit cleaner look, but I forgot to do it. So I am just going to mark it out right now. No particular angle, just something consistent with the other side. And I'll whack that off with a jigsaw. In an effort to cut down on some wood, I'm only gonna bring the back down to here uh, because you won't be able to see through, at least I think you won't be able to see through the deeper pockets where the drawers are. And I want to transfer some of the weight from the French cleat down to this portion so that not all of the weight is held right here. So this board will help that as well. And instead of just nailing it, I am going to add a little bit of quick and thick glue as well. Again, in an effort to help transfer that weight down into the bottom cabinet. This will <clears throat> make it much more difficult to take apart in the 3.0 version. Not too bad if I do say so myself. I would like to do a little something about these small nails and picture hangers. Maybe a couple slides, a couple pockets in another uh, organizer that'll get right there. I'm one short. Uh, maybe I can have like a picture hanger one, which will be right there. Nobody can deny that they got one of these guys laying around and this works out perfectly. I was able to use the bin somewhere else and this is just a wide open box. And unbeknownst to me, a side effect of the 16 inch drawer slides allows the lid to lay open against the cabinet. So that's pretty nice. I could have gotten away with 14 for the depth of the box, but 16 is what I had. So that's what I went with and it worked out pretty well. Yeah, buddy. Uh, you guys might notice a little bit of yellow in there, this, this yellow brand. I'll probably have to cover that up and hide that a little bit. But uh, yeah, those bins were a good deal and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Some of y'all might be questioning if I can get anything done right here on the drill press and I could still do a long run down the side here. It won't interfere with that at all. And if I do have a super wide piece that I need to drill and this is in the way, I could probably just slide the drill press out a little bit. But I wanted to make sure I had full depth for those bins and it looks like I do. And I do have clearance underneath this guy for anything that might extend off the jointer bed up against the wall. Which does happen when I'm trying to joint longer pieces. Well I think that bad boy turned out pretty well if I do say so myself. But we got to move on to this one now to make the colors match just right back in this corner. Which speaking of that, I think the lady at the home center did quite a swell job at making that orange match all of the DIY Tyler merch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps some of you out, which has always been the goal of this channel. If it did, maybe you can help us out and hammer that thumbs up button. I'm DIY Tyler and you guys have a good one.